I'm a gay man and a child abuse victim. Between the ages of 13 and 16, two men touched me in ways they should not have. One of those men was a priest. My relationship with my abusers is complicated by the fact that at the time, I didn't perceive what was happening as abusive. But I can look back now and see that it was. I still don't view myself as a victim, but clearly I am one. I've reviewed the, the tapes that appeared a few days ago in the proper context, and I don't believe that they say what is being reported. Nonetheless, I do say some things on the tapes that I do not mean, and which do not reflect my views. My experiences as a victim led me to believe that I could say almost anything on this subject, no matter how outrageous. But I understand that my usual blend of sassy gay British sarcasm, provocation and gallows humour might have come across as flippancy. A lack of care for other victims, or even worse, as seems to have been the case in reports, advocacy. I'm horrified by that impression. My employer, Breitbart News, has stood by me while others caved. They've allowed me to carry conservative and libertarian ideas to communities that would otherwise never have had them. They have been a significant factor in my success, and I'm grateful for the freedom and for the friendships that I forged there. But I would be wrong to allow my poor choice of words to detract from my colleague's important job, which is why today I'm resigning from Breitbart Effective immediately. This decision is mine alone. My book, Dangerous, um, has received interest from other publishers after my previous publisher, Simon Schuster, informed me they no longer wish to release it. The book will come out this year as planned, with perhaps an additional chapter.